Tessa's goal was to go to the Olympics in figure skating. But life wasn't all about skating. She was going to have a balance in her life. Once Scott would come home and say, how can we be champions one day? We would just kind of say, you have to make your mark. You know, it has to be a Scott and Tessa mark. I started Scott in skating at the age of two. He just took off. I just wanted to go as fast as possible and eventually just kind of evolved into something that I truly loved doing. I love to move, I love to create, I love to express, and as soon as I figured out that I could do that on the ice, that's what I wanted to pursue. I was paired with Scott when I was just seven years old, and we just had a great connection. I remember their first major competition. You could barely see them over the boards. They're the littlest team on the ice. Kate and I would sit in the stands and think, oh gosh, just hope they're not last. To our surprise, they actually won that competition. I think there was a moment of, oh wow, you know, maybe we're kind of good at this and we wanted to get better. In figure skating, you qualify for the Olympics at Nationals. Going into the Nationals in 2006, we had a very good chance at qualifying. Scott and I had three great performances, probably our best of the season. They really believed that they were good enough to go. They were told in the dressing rooms that they had missed qualifying for the Olympics. They were heartbroken. They had worked their hardest, they had done their best, and it was devastating for me to see them so disappointed. I remember being in a room with my sister and my mom just bawling, just crying and crying and crying. I remember thinking I couldn't do another four years. The most upsetting part of it was how hurt they were. Watching the Olympic Games on TV, it was crushing. I mean, I thought I should have been there living it. You definitely do start to doubt. It was, it was tough to take. We've always told Scott that skating is a judgment sport. It's in the hands of seven other people. And that was part of the process for them becoming innovative because even at that point, they hadn't made their mark yet. My mom is always the first person to say, skating is not who you are, it doesn't define you. She could come home, it was a safe place. We didn't talk about skating, I didn't go to the rink. That was just part of her life. I think had she put a lot of pressure on me, I would have quit. What I need from her is what she gives me, is unconditional love and support. So she was able to really help me move on and focus my energy towards the next four years. In order to be the top team in the world, we needed to keep reinventing yourself and reinventing your style. That's something that I've learned from my mom. We worked with acrobats and a dancer, and we really intensified the athleticism that went into our lifts. If you skate better enough that they can't deny you, then it'll take care of itself. We had made through the games, and we were there, and we were ready to compete at Olympics in our home country, which was a dream of any athlete. I didn't see the judges, I didn't see the cameras. I just felt at home and at peace. There was something about the way they took the ice. I had no doubts what that performance was going to be that night. We stepped on that Olympic ice, and then I started thinking about the people who supported me throughout. My mom taught me that you gotta put everything in and then really enjoy the moment. Throughout that program, I was able to remember just that passion for skating and appreciate the part it plays in my life. And I, I thank my mom for that. It was great advice. Scott sort of looked up and said, take it in. We did it. That's what you dream about. Scott and Tessa won in Vancouver. We were just ecstatic because they skated the best that they could. I saw the seven and nine year old. They have their dream. It's amazing. When they're standing on that podium. It's all worth it. That's all I got. P&G, proud sponsor of Moms.